in all the professional sports, I don't think there is a sport like football. Football has so many weird things. And one of the weirdest things is the kicker and the punter. Not saying these guys are weird. Not saying they're not weird. I, I've been around my fair share of weird kickers and punters in my life. Uh, but these guys are just different. Everyone else in the field, and obviously there's a few cases, like Pat McAfee's pretty built. But for the most part, like, every NFL player is just jacked. Like, they're massive. They're built on speed, precision, catching, just being elusive, quick feet, and kickers. They just kick the ball. These guys can be 40. These, Adam Vinatieri, who looks like he could be my dad, can kick in the NFL. So what I was thinking today in the video, I was like, these guys usually only back up each other in the depth chart. So if you look at like any like normal NFL depth chart, I'm gonna try and show this really, really quick right now uh, on the screen. We're about to stop right now. Everybody stop. Stop what you're doing. Hit subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. That'd be really awesome. Sorry, I, I tried to use that new technique of just like telling everyone stop. So my challenge for today is as follows. These guys only back up each other. We have a kicker and we have a punter. They back up each other. So what happens if both of them get hurt? If I put them both at quarterback, they both get hurt in the game because I'm gonna have all the like injury stats just juiced up. I'm gonna have their injury tolerance at zero. Is it possible that we could go through a game, get both these guys hurt and potentially see someone else go? Let me know in the comments if you guys think yes or no. I'll see you guys in the gameplay. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Hit subscribe, turn that little bell on the side. That'll make sure you're notified of all of my new videos. And I'm gonna be shouting out and showing on the screen three new subscribers every single video. So what I want to do real quick is just ensure to you guys that I'm doing everything I can in case for some odd reason we can't make this happen. I want you guys to know that I'm doing literally everything possible. So the injuries are on skill level on Madden. I feel like that's where most of the injuries would happen on all Madden. Accelerated clock here. We're going to scroll down to it's actually not here. Why is it not here? Quarter length. We're going to go 14 minute quarters with a minimum play clock time of about 20. That's what we're going to play through in this chance if it doesn't happen within then because that'll be at least like 35 hits either we're, we, we'll call the l and we'll say it's impossible and i'll just sit here and i'll be disappointed and i'll offer anyone who can actually get the thing to happen i'll give them big props so now i'm gonna go to team settings game options this is where i believe we get to make the decision why where is the traits i gotta go find the traits because i know there is a setting for that this this makes sense this makes sense injuries okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna juice this all the way up to 100. I want this to be as like much as possible. Like illegal false start, face mask, intentional grounding, all that stuff doesn't really matter too much. Fatigue, ah, uh, fatigue. Let's make it so fatigue is relatively high. I feel like the more tired guys are, the better chance they're going to get injured. I really don't know though. Uh, I'm going to make that like 92 just in case tackling. Let's just juice that up as much as possible. Field goal power, none of that stuff really matters. Uh, interceptions, fumbles. If we juice fumbles up, if there's like a bunch of fumbles, on the team it might be like more obvious that like some someone might actually get hurt from the fumble so now the last step the last thing we're going to do is go to the depth chart we're going to insert our two kickers as the starting quarterbacks on starting and the back of quarterbacks in this team if these guys get hurt i'm going to go i'm going to try and kick a field goal and then we'll know if the challenge worked okay so this is different than any other challenge i would ever do because usually you're chilling and you're trying to be successful enough it's here I'm trying to get my quarterback hurt, so I have to do everything that I normally wouldn't do. I have to literally just try and get this guy in so much pain that he gets hurt. And now that's not going to be easy. Let's just be honest. That is not something that is just going to happen. Uh, I'm going to have to set them up for big hits, maybe even get out of the pocket, try and hurdle some people. Just try and get like thrown as far into the air as humanly possible, because that's probably not going to do it. Hits like that most likely are not going to do it, which really, really sucks. Okay, let's go to formation. Let's go to gun and let's try just a straight up gun empty tray. Do we have, um, I'm looking for, why, why would they not have that? It's a great question, bro. Why would they not have it? They don't have anything like a QB draw, like, which is weird because most five wide formations should have a QB draw. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Okay, do you guys, do you guys like a story? time with Brett right through the middle don't get killed ba bam oh my gosh I'm gonna tell you guys about my high school football and I know I'm, I'm not trying to live in the past I'm, I'm really I genuinely am not and if you guys have watched my 2k videos you may have heard this story before but I want to talk to you guys about my senior year as I go and I try and get hurt here I'm not gonna show the whole thing I'm gonna sim a lot of it so my senior year came up um everything's good we had a crosstown rival oh my gosh wait 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 this is a lefty this is a lefty that is a lefty I repeat that is a lefty did we get him hurt did we get him hurt? I don't know. I'm no betting man, but I think, I don't think we started with the lefty. I'm pretty sure I started with someone who wasn't. Uh, I don't know if I'm completely jumping the gun and doing something ridiculous here, 
but it looks like no one's hurt so far. So we have the injuries completely maxed out, um, and no one is hurt so far. That is a great question, game. And this is what kind of scares me that this challenge might be impossible. And what really, really bugs me about this game, why have these crazy sliders if they're really not going to do anything? That's really, really frustrating. So my high school football career, let, let me go and get back to what I was talking about there. So grade 12, um, I, I was feeling pretty good about myself. I really, really genuinely was. Life seems to be, whoa, that's a righty. Something just happened. I don't care what anybody says, something just happened. Uh, but I got to get back. I got I to gotta keep talking. Game one, I was nervous. So I had played in like the All-Star League for like all the things. I, I, I started for the All-Star League in grade 10. And that was where like the best players in the league played. But I didn't start for like the main team. These guys are switching reps, which is hilarious. Um, I didn't play for like the actual main like squad, meaning like my high school team. I had one guy in front of me who had been around for three years. I guess the coach thought he was better than me. I still to this day think that I could have had a better season. Not saying he wasn't great, but I did go to college. He did not. Um, mostly like his, in terms of like skill set and stuff though, he was better than me. I just, I just had the size, kind of the arm strength, those kind of benefits. So grade 12 comes up, game number one, we're playing the Crosstown Rivals. And you want to talk choke? I was like, I, I was probably expected to be like one of the top QBs that year. I, I think I finished the year as the top QB in like every single stat. Possible. I had like 26 touchdowns, I believe, close to like, I had a good amount of passing yards. So like life was pretty good in that front. Why can these guys not get hurt? Why are these dudes not getting hurt? I don't know what's going on. He looks like he's holding his mask right there, but that does nothing for me whatsoever, which really, really sucks. Okay, let's keep this going. And I'm getting a little discouraged just based on this challenge. I'm only going to talk for the first quarter and then we're going to simulate and I'll see you guys at the end of the video where there might just be a bunch of disappointment. So game number one. I remember being a little bit nervous. I'd never really played in front of my high school friends or before. Like, it was like the first time that I played in front of people that I knew, in front of like people from the school who didn't know me from like the All Star League where I had like some pretty great seasons. Not to say like they were amazing, but they were pretty good. Like, I was pretty proud of the way that I played. I definitely was um, playing better than I ever thought that I would. I got some attention of some colleges and stuff. But I got to that high school and I was so incredibly nervous. Like, something was just like there and like I'll never forget it and my camera just died um but it was just like I don't know like it was the weirdest feeling and I remember the score ended up we ended up losing by one point against these guys the cross drive so everyone all season thought we were garbage I threw out like one of the worst picks of my life I will never forget this pick as long as I live like it'll be the one that I like you know how you tell your kids about like the glory days this is like the sad days pick this is the one that i will tell them when i want them to just be embarrassed of their father like it's just it was so bad i remember i came out of the pocket i rolled it was a fake it was a boot you hold the ball to the left and you boot to the right was the main idea of the play which i i ran that play a million times in practice and you're supposed to hit like a six which is like a run up go to the outside and i'm supposed to throw it lightly to the sideline to the guy so this is what I actually did. Off the edge, one of the linebackers straight up got in my head. I played with him and like he's a really, really good linebacker. I hiked the ball and he just immediately starts yelling at me like, got him, got him, got him. And as my back's turned, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm done. So I moved the corner and I, I never made this mistake again. And come on, please get hit good enough. And he's still, is he still not hurt? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. If he does not get hurt, I'm going to be sick. Oh, okay, as I was saying. So I roll out, I start looking. And I looked for one second, I thought I saw something. And I throw the ball about 30 feet in the air, and it, there's no receivers even near. And the DB goes, makes a diving catch. And it was the most, just, there wasn't even a receiver inside. It was like, I literally came out of the pocket, and I, I like, the guy, the linebacker just got in my head, and I just like muffed it. And then it just, it went like no distance whatsoever. It was terrible, I was crazy embarrassed. My coach on the sidelines told me, he's like, if you ever do that again, I will have that grade 10 start the entire year. He's like, I promise you, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've done. I will have a grade 10 play in front of you all year and you will watch your senior year just die. That's pretty much exactly what he said to me. If you ever do that again, well-deserved. I obviously never do it again. Uh, so the season goes on, starts to have a better season, starts to get more comfortable, end up having, we end up winning the league championship. The league championship I'm gonna talk about for the last like 19 seconds, just cause this is story time and no one's getting hurt right now. So I'm a little embarrassed of this video and I'm a little upset and what's going on? So I feel like I need to give you guys some substance uh, in this because if these kickers do not find a way to get hurt, I'm going to be very, very upset in this game. So let me talk about this. So the end of the season, uh, league final. Now, this is a life lesson that like, so that same coach, he was strict. Also a really, really good coach though. I got to hand it to him. Like I have a ton of respect for him. 
um, in every single way. So there was on film. You know how you watch film after every single uh, like game. You always go and you get to watch film. Is he down? Is he down? He looks like he could potentially be down. He could potentially be down. I don't know if he is done. No, I, I don't think he was. So we always watch film. And in the film, uh, my coach was like, he, there was this one play where there was a fumble. And me being the lunch, like we were up pretty big. I wasn't trying to be like cocky or anything. But I didn't run after the fumble. And he, even though I had like a really, really good game, I think I was like 10 for like 14 or something with like a good amount of yards. Even though I had played really, really good, he just blew a gasket on me. So, and I was wondering like, why would he do that? Like, it's just ridiculous. So, league final, first drive of the game, our running back takes up the sidelines. He fumbles. I run like 20 yards because I was following the run the whole time. Grab the fumble, throw a touchdown pass, as well as three more touchdown passes in that game. We win the league final. Absolutely amazing. One of the highlights. Uh, then I end up going to school to play. Definitely when you like a tip to all you guys, and like, I might as well just keep talking because I'm actually somewhat enjoying this. Uh, a tip to all you guys, just know, like, university football is amazing. It's a ton of fun. It's a prestigious thing. You can get school paid for. Like, that was, like, one of the best parts of it. Uh, when you're coming out, you don't have to pay really any tuition, depending on what your scholarship is. Um, but the worst part is, you got to understand, with a lot of coaches, football is no longer fun. If, if you want football to be, like, the laughing, like, it's funny kind of thing, because it is for some people. But when you get to that level where, like, your coaches are getting paid, like, a good amount of money, like, they're making salaries off this, you have to understand that you are no longer just, like, a player. Like, you're an asset, so they're going to treat you like it. So as soon as you're not no longer an asset to them, they're, they're, they don't care. Like, they don't care about your grades. you got to look out for yourself in school and just know that, like, it's great to play there, but always have a backup plan because you never know what's going to happen. And also just be prepared when you sign that offer. It might look like all sunshine and rainbows. On the visit, it might be showering you with dinners and stuff. As soon as you sign that letter of intent and you show up day one, it is, that is gone. You're going to be the one taking the rookies around, taking them and, like, getting them food. Well, you're not getting nothing. And they, they know they have you locked in, so they are no longer going to treat you. And that way, I think that goes without saying, and you're there to work. Don't expect your school to do that. That's just what I'm saying. It's a great thing, though. I, I would never tell someone not to do it. It's like, for me, at the time, just because of YouTube, like, taking off and stuff, it wasn't, like, great for me. Um, just, it was a bad timing thing, and I, I don't think I'll regret it, because I, I, I never regret YouTube. Like, YouTube has got me opportunities that I never thought in my wildest dreams I would get. Come on, get injured, somebody. Okay, I'm done talking. This looks like it could be just a walking L, so I'm going to play the rest of it. I'm going to sim it. I'm going to do a little talk while I play another little talk, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So right now, this simulation is going to be on the screen. I just want to talk to you guys about something. I'm just going to stop right now for one second and then say something. This is your guys' year. 2017 is about to end. Um, it may have been awesome for you already. I don't know, but I just want all of you guys to think right now. Do a little exercise with me. I did this like four years ago. Think of the thing you want most. Don't think about like if you like don't think about school don't think about what everyone else in your life wants you to do think about what you want to do is it be a professional football player is it be a radio announcer is it like I honestly whatever it is is it be a youtuber is it be an NBA youtuber think of that thing and just please get that from me and when you have that I'm just gonna let you give you guys one second to think about that okay now that you have that in 2018 this is your year you're gonna go after that you are gonna accomplish Whatever you want to be. If you're too young to become what you want to do, think of something a little bit smaller. Like if you're if you're 12 years old and you're saying, I want to be a doctor, it's probably not going to happen. But think of something else that you really, really want. I want every single one of you guys to accomplish everything this year. And like, not to like use myself as an example, but in 2016 and 2017, like th these years changed my life. I went from a gamer who played, who was a university student, college football player, to a guy who's got to like interview Aaron Judge and gets to entertain and have a full-time job and have an amazing job where I'm making more money than I probably ever will doing anything else at something that I truly love. So I want you guys to take 2017, make it your year, be the best you as possible. And the one most important thing like I said at the beginning, don't let anybody tell you what you want to do. No one has a right. It's not their life, it's yours. If you have a bunch of people in your life pressuring you, hey, you need to do this, you need to do this, take take what they're saying okay nod your head but if it's not what you want to do don't do it like there's people in my life who when i started wanting to be a youtuber they would have never even known they would have said that it was dumb i remember when i told my dad he kind of laughed at me and he said oh you're gonna make money at this something like that and i proved him wrong and it's not his fault but it doesn't matter what other people want you to do it matters what you want to do because in the end this is your life obviously like you want to like be nice to other people other people have to be but they're going to do what they want to do do what you want to do follow your guys' dreams go kill it in 2018 i expect at the end of 2019 or 2018 when 2019 is over i want like six new big youtubers 
to come out of people who watch this video. I want a bunch of new of you guys to just, and I know this is a little sloppy and it's just me kind of talking, but I just want everyone to be so successful and happy and I love you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the end of this video. If you're here right now, you can see no one, everybody refused to get